Iraq, one of the richest countries in the world in history, culture, food, and hospitality. A country with a dark past, it's time to discover its incredibly bright future. Welcome to the real Iraq. Good morning, my beautiful, beautiful friends. Today, I'm heading on what possibly could be one of the greatest adventures of my life. Today, I'm heading to Baghdad, Iraq. Good morning, everybody. Good night in, and welcome to Sabi Ogotin Airport here in Istanbul. Right now, I'm just about to fly to Baghdad, Iraq. Okay, you guys, we're boarding now. Hello. I couldn't be more excited. Okay guys, we boarded. It should take about three hours to get there. I will find the flight back dad. I am so excited. Okay, good afternoon everybody and welcome to Baghdad Airport. It's very, very close to 50 degrees. Everything so far has been incredibly smooth. I now have to get my visa on arrival. We were at border control for just over two hours. There was an issue with Doug's passport, but we finally just got through. I can't wait. Let's go to Baghdad. Okay, we made it outside the terminal building. We're gonna head to a hotel now and hopefully have time to explore the streets. I just met these guys outside the okay, airport. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's a lover. Everyone here so far has been so kind, so helpful and so nice. Inshallah, it continues. That's a lover. Baghdad is safe, safe. Safe for me. Oh, Ali. <laughs> yeah, so many street food markets. I love it. Shukran, Habibi. Habibi. Shukran. Afan. Masalama. Okay, everybody, we just made it to the hotel. It's 9.15. The visa process was very, very long. It's not complicated. Visa on arrival is very, very simple, actually. It just took a long time for them to process our passports. But thankfully, we're at the hotel now. Let's go out and explore the streets of Baghdad for the first time. <laughs> first evening here in Baghdad, I am Overwhelmed with excitement to be here. We're kicking off tonight at this restaurant. I cannot wait to eat here. Our first meal, hopefully, will be incredible. Let's head in and see what we can find. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, you can see here they're cooking the fresh chicken, I think beef and lamb here on the hot coals. Serve this beautiful dinner spread. Let's see what's inside. Wow! Whoa. There's so much inside here. We have grilled kebab, ribs, chicken. This is called a rice. A rice. A rice. This is a minced meat filled bread. So much salad. I'm so excited. And the onion. Whoa! Mm. 
Okay, we just finished up that incredible food. Salam Hassan. There's a curfew actually here in Baghdad where you have to be home at 12. Today is Thursday, which in this part of the world means it's weekend tomorrow. So I'm gonna head back and get a good night's rest. I think it's just about midnight. So we're gonna wake up early and explore the beautiful city of Baghdad tomorrow. Okay, it's Scott here, everybody. Welcome to our first full day here in Baghdad. We're starting off the day with a very traditional breakfast here in Iraq. This is Khaimah with Kahi. The Kahi is the thick pastry at the bottom, and the Khaima is a thick cow or buffalo milk. This is all soaked in a very sweet sugar syrup. <laughs> That is amazing. It's so sweet. It's so good. Salam alaikum. Hello, 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 Okay, we're just walking through uh, Market Little Arabia. It's busting market here. It's really early, so I think it's just starting to come alive. It's still Friday as well, so it's Juma bread today. <laughs> okay, we're continuing to the huge market, but right here behind me is the Majan Mosque, built over 800 years ago when the Mongols invaded. It has a completely different style to any of the mosques I've ever seen and that is because of the Mongol influence. One thing I've noticed here in Baghdad is guys love their hairstyles. I saw a guy earlier with this hair almost up here. It was like a giant triangle of hair. Look! How does his hair stand? <laughs> Even the kids have great hairstyles. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. You see so many flags, drums, people are preparing for Ashura, which is very significant here in Iraq. I will tell you about that in future vlogs. It's an incredibly important event. But yeah, this is the market they're preparing for it. All over the city, you'll see flags, drums, people preparing. Everyone is so nice, as you can see. Like, Salam alaikum. These kids are looking at swords. walking around the market we just ran into a very famous actor here in Iraq. So the markets around this general area are more about handcrafts and talent. Handicrafts go back thousands yes, of years yes, here in Baghdad okay. before the Mongols invaded in the 13th century. Poets, philosophers, thinkers, intellects came here and it really lives on to this day. People are carrying on the traditions. The numbers of people who can do this are decreasing but inshallah it continues and people all over the world can experience this new talent of Iraqi people. made it here to the banks of the Tigris River. The only other time I've seen this beautiful river was in Mosul last year. I think this is a government building behind me, but you can see all of the graffiti, the street art. So political, so poignant in this time in history in Iraq. So much history here. I cannot believe really still that I'm walking in Baghdad in the streets of a city which 
has so much history, so much culture and goes back in time, thousands of years. So far the people I've met, so kind. The food I've tasted and eaten, so good. I hope this continues. I hope I meet more incredible people and discover more about this beautiful city. Get a quick break from the very hot midday heat. I'm here at Shabanda Cafe here in Baghdad. This is an incredibly famous cafe here. All over the walls are very famous people who have come to this cafe. And back in, I think it was 2007, there was a huge explosion here actually. Okay, we've just grabbed some. This is called Basra lemon tea with a lot of sugar. Iraqis and all over the Middle East actually, they love their sugar. I think there's about two tablespoons of sugar inside of this. Let's see how it is. I think that's the sweetest tea I've ever had. This cafe is 103 years old. The tables are all facing each other. So everyone has to speak to each other, make more friends, and learn more about everyone's stories. Okay, we're leaving now. Bro, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much. This guy just gifted me this. Everyone here is so calm. So calm. Nice to meet you. This store started in 1900, 121 years ago, and their speciality is grape juice. Let's see how good it is. So good. It's currently 50 degrees outside. Okay, I'm here with the owner, and this guy is giving the traditional Iraqi hats to everyone. I'm heading to Rashid Street, which is one of the oldest streets here in Baghdad. So this actually used to be a cinema and Agatha Christie used to come in here and watch movies, relax, take inspiration. Walking through history here is pretty spectacular. Assalamu alaikum brother, how are you? Good. This was this guy's store for a long time. He's met so many incredible film stars, filmmakers. Wow! Oh. Yeah. He signed it for you? Yes. Wow! Oh. Okay, they've just actually opened the doors to theater. Whoa! So this is one of the oldest theaters here in Baghdad. And they just opened the doors for us to come in. There's actually just about to be a film festival here. And you can see they're picking up all the preparations. Wow, imagine the people who have walked through these doors. So many years of history, so many stories, so many inspiring people. Okay, it's now finally time to get some lunch. To escape the midday heat, I'm gonna get some Iraqi dolma. I have tried dolma all over the Middle East and in Turkey, but I've never had it in Europe. This is the dolma. This is rice stuffed with vegetables. So, okay, let's give this dolma a try. My favorite bread. Working our way to the top. Wow! I'm here at the top of the panoramic viewpoint of Takashra. Takashra is about an hour drive south of Baghdad near Madain. As you can see, the sun is just setting behind me, and you can see the beautiful landscapes. Really, really stunning. From the media and what you see back home, say in the UK or the US, you would probably imagine Baghdad to be completely desolate and dry and dusty. In some parts it is, but in other parts, pretty close to the Tigris River, you have rows, rows, acres and acres of rich land, fishing and palm trees. This entire landscape is flourishing green in the hot summer days. You can see it's just rows and rows and rows. The beautiful lush greenery. Okay. 
here, I've just made it to this incredible arch. You can see the sun setting through one of the arches. So because of the really heavy rains last year, they've actually closed it off because this incredible construction is actually gonna collapse very soon. It's very unstable. It's insanely beautiful. I hope you can tell how happy I am. Day one in Baghdad has been out of this world, been extraordinary. The people, the food, the culture, the history. One of the oldest cities in the world, steeped with so many stories, so much knowledge. I really love it here, really, really, truly love it. Good evening, it's currently 11 p.m. I've just made it home. It's been an incredibly busy day, but what an incredible one. We started off the morning with the traditional, it's not khaimah, it's called gema. I pronounced it wrong this morning. The thick buffalo cream with the very sweet syrupy pastry. Incredible. We wandered the old streets of the city, met incredible people with the craziest hairstyles. One thing I've noticed is the incredible hairstyles here in Baghdad with the guys. Maybe I should get the same, what do you think? <laughs> and ending the day watching that incredible sunset, it's been really incredible, really beautiful. Baghdad, day one. Iraq, you've been amazing. I will see you in the morning. Masal khair. Masalama.